Today, we are going to expand on this series parallel conversation we've been touching on over the last couple of weeks. And I'm gonna take this into your dry effects. There are a couple of companies that kind of work with parallel mixers and splitters. And typically this is aimed at your wet effects, things like delays, reverbs, maybe a chorus. But what happens if you take your overdrives or a distortion and an overdrive? whatever the gain pedal is, and run those in parallel. It's a bit of a different sound, and one that can be used really well if that's the sound you're going for. So today I'm going to take two overdrives that are very different. The first one is a Keeley modded TS9. The other is a Bondi FX Sick Ass, which is based on a Klon. So they're two different styles of circuits, and we're going to run them in series with the sick as running into the TS9, and then we're gonna run them in parallel with the sick as in parallel with the TS9. And we're just gonna see what the difference is. Which sound do you like better? Is it better just to have the TS9 on or just to have the sick as on? Or is it a whole nother sound to run them in parallel? Not one into the other, but at the same time in parallel, not interacting with each other. These are the sounds we're going for today. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Do you like parallel, stacked series, or just the pedals one at a time? Not stacked, not in parallel. Curious what you think. Let's get into these audio examples. Here we go. It, a bunch of different audio examples from two overdrives. We did both bypass, so just clean signal, just sick as, just TS9, sick as running into TS9, sick as in parallel with TS9, and then at the very end there I also added that dry through, so clean guitar going to the output, sick as going to the output in parallel, and TS9 going to the output in parallel. So three different lines of guitars. If I had three hands here, I would be able to do that a little bit more clearly. But you get what I'm saying. There are a ton of options just by moving overdrives around, turning them on and off, so on and so forth. Flexible options are available without having to buy five or six different overdrive sounds. So long as you have the core sounds there that you know and love, you can manipulate them in a bunch of different ways just by getting creative with signal routing. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that gave you something to think about over the next week or so. We'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.